Uh, you seem really tearful. I've got three words for you. Justice for book. Hashtag. He is clearly referencing Anna Book, who of course was disqualified from Melfest last year. She had hoped to come back this year, said she was promised a spot, and guess what? She didn't get it. Should we talk about it? Let's, Let's do, do this! this. Now, Debbin, just to quickly review, Anna's song Heaven for Two was all set for the semifinals last year at Melody Festival, and then two days before the competition... Two days before her show. Fans in Moldova and Romania recognized her song as being based on another song that was entered in Moldova's national final in Felicia Dudaf, which is... Something about crying over a broken yeah. heart. In 2014, Anna claims that composer Frederick Schimpa said he would work with her on a song this year, and that SVT said they would compensate her in some way, and perhaps let her compete this year. But in October, she said she had heard nothing, and of course... NOTHING! <laughs> and of course, the acts were announced the day before yesterday, as we filmed this, and she was left out in the cold. Devin, first reaction. <laughs> No, no, no. Universal reaction. How is that a good thing? I'm sorry. Melody Festival should be all about inclusion, not melodrama. Justice for book. Why was that a book left out? Listen, I can name many, many reasons why she was left out. First of all, just because you get screwed over one year does not mean you automatically qualify for the next year. SVT has said that she did not contact them. She should have worked with some composers, followed up with Frederick Schimpa, sought some other songs, submitted them to SVT, then she would have a strong case, when she would have a song. She cannot expect SVT to cater to her just because she's over there crying a river. She's Anna Book. And can I just add... She's Anna Book, what does that mean? <laughs> Name one of her other songs. William! You can't! William! This is Anna Book. She was hard done by, and she should have been approached, because assurances were made during the press conference... Reportedly! ...were made during the press conference that this is such a big faux pas. I mean, quite honestly, detection. this should have been detected way early. Two days before the girl was meant to perform, they pulled the rug. Listen, maybe Anna Book should have asked her songwriters about the origin of their song. Maybe she should have done some research on her own. Her last name is Book. Can she not, you know, do some investigating? Ask the songwriters. I mean, ultimately it is their fault for not being up front and saying, but the song was so forgettable, they didn't even remember that it had competed in Moldova. I mean, she shouldn't... Um, the song that smashed the Swedish Spotify charts. Only because she was crying a river, sympathy, yada, yada, yada. Wouldn't this you said, cry if they pulled the rug? You know what? I cry all the time and my tears do not guarantee me a place in a national TV televised TV show the next year, does it? Listen, Anna needs to stop complaining. If she wanted to be in Melfast this year, she should have submitted a song, she should have written a song, she should have gotten in touch with SVT. This book is closed. No, justice for book. Keep it open. She could have been approached. SVT could have approached her. Frederick Schempe promised her a song. She was waiting he on that. Is busy. She had made it known through multiple social media outlets and through Express and Magazine and through even Wee Wee Blogs that she was waiting for the phone call. Listen, something tells me that Frederick Schempe and Christian Brockman don't follow Anna Book on Twitter. <laughs> she needs to up her game to get the word out. It's interesting you talk about Frederick Schempe, he's a busy man. He's been hosting as an idol, or as a judge on yeah, Idol. Yeah, judge on Swedish He does idol. not have time to compose another dated song that could, for Anna Book. That Anna could Book. have been delegated to somebody else. I mean, oh, Anna, Anna Book. What happened at Melody Festival in last year was completely unprecedented, and it was awful. And there was a lot of sympathy, it was very rousing, and the understanding was that she would be the wild card entry this year. And, and I think, you know, I'm sorry, William, if there's any justice in the world, this woman should have been the first confirmed act for this year. And her songwriter, who made the big faux pas with the whole Moldovan thing, should have been given another opportunity to address the errors. But Anna Book should have been able to- Whoa, 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 whoa. So a songwriter makes a mistake. Oh, let's give you another chance to make a mistake. No, you, zero tolerance. You screwed up, you're out. Bye. Okay, so why does Anna Book have to pay the price? Anna 
book isn't paying a price. There's no penalty. She got to perform her song. It went to number one on Spotify. She got a lot out of last year. She needs to, you know, enjoy those 15 minutes. They're now over. Do you, did you watch her live performance? I did. And did you enjoy it? You know what? Schlager will always reign supreme. And there are lots of people that buy into did that. Did you enjoy that performance? I love Anna Book. You didn't, because you won't say it. Listen, all I remember is two guys struggling to pick her up in the bridge. It's just, it would add nothing. Someone on Facebook wrote, you know, we shared this story that Anna is tearful over not getting to participate. And someone wrote, geez, I feel bad. I guess someone else got the joke entry this year. And that's how a lot of fans feel. She's often crying, apparently, reportedly, supposedly. And this is just more of the same. Look, I feel bad this happened to her, but it's now over and done. She's not competing at Melfest this year. What she should do instead of complaining is go find a songwriter, go write a song, come back next year. Well, what do our readers think? Because I don't agree with that. And Robin Gallagher, who wrote the article on WeWe Blogs, obviously takes a more balanced approach at this. Balanced? I'm calling it fair. I'm calling it fair. Look, I said I felt bad for her. I just don't think she should be there. In any case, is the book closed? Should you judge a book by its cover or by the songs they bring to Melody Festival? And let us know here on WeWe Blogs. Like, subscribe, add your comments, and the friendship. <laughs> Good cop, bad cop, yada, yada, yada. See you later. Bye.